Continuing coverage now, cyber attacks have surged since the pandemic began. Pensacola has seen its fair share in the past year, including last week with the arrest of five people accused of stealing CARES Act money. You probably remember that. And last year, when the city was asked to pay a ransom when someone stole information from more than 1,700 documents about budgets and timesheets. Aaron Fields is talking with a local organization launching a campaign to bring more cybersecurity professionals to this area. Florida West Coast is launching their Cyber Coast Security Campaign in January, and they not only hope to bring more cybersecurity professionals down to the area, but also boost the economy. In today's world, I mean, you know, it's the Internet of Things. I mean, everything is connected, you know, almost everything is connected somehow to the Internet. And when you're connected to the Internet, then you have your cyber, you have your cyber vulnerabilities. Luth says there's a demand for people in the industry, especially here in Pensacola. With the community being the host of many military, government, and cybersecurity assets, he says it's a no-brainer. To look at ways to build systems, bring in private companies that do that type of work. And so that's really kind of our focus here. And again, and the way to do that is to make sure that we're keeping talent here and recruiting talent to the community. They are trying to bring more innovation, entrepreneurship, and build up communities here in Pensacola. But what's unique is their website is specifically targeting companies and professionals to bring business down here to work remotely, but also help the residents already here. And first and foremost, we want to make sure that our that our local residents and the folks coming out of school um, have great job opportunities. Our area being the highest, one of the highest concentration of retired military anywhere the United States. We want to make sure that they know that there's great job opportunities here as well. Lou says all you have to do is bring your talent, laptop, and your company and enjoy what the city of Pensacola has to offer. Having a focus on that and then sort of building a cluster here on how to protect that we think is going to be extremely important. The University of West Florida, Pensacola State College, and Pensacola Christian College all have great cybersecurity programs as well, which they hope to spotlight and get more people in the industry. Reporting in Pensacola, I'm Aaron Fields, WKRG News 5. Congress is